We are watching as Tosa police are just about to brief us now on the situation. We know an officer found dead about 5 a.m. Let's listen in. I'm Lieutenant Gerald Wachowski, Walla Tosa Police Department. Sometime this morning, between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., one of our Wauwatosa police officers was shot numerous times in the village of Wauwatosa. That officer succumbed to those gunshot wounds and has passed away. The investigation is ongoing. That officer that passed away, her name is Jennifer Lynn Sabina, that's S-E-B-E-N-A. Her date of birth was 6-21-1982, so 30 and a half years old. She started with the Wauwatosa Police Department as a graduate of the MATC Police Academy, uh, entered that academy January 18th, 2011, and started solo patrol officer work with the Wauwatosa Police Department in July of 2012. She ended her probationary period November of 2012. At this point in time, uh, immediate family members have been contacted and they have all asked that media not attempt to contact them uh, in this time of great grief. We also ask if anyone can provide any information or witness this tragic incident that they please call the Wauwatosa Police Department tip line and that's 414-771 8672 or 771 TOSA, T O S A. The Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigations is the lead investigative unit for this shooting. Uh, they're being assisted by our Wauwatosa Police Department, and we have numerous other departments in the area. Milwaukee County Sheriffs, Brookfield, Elm Grove, West Dallas, Cudahy, Oak Creek. Everybody has jumped forward and is out there helping us uh, secure the scene. So you can't confirm now at this time that this is indeed a homicide? This, this is a homicide investigation. At this point in your investigation, Lieutenant, do you have any indication that Officer Sabina um, was able to defend herself. Did she get off any rounds and was this? I, I have no information that that occurred. Uh, just simply, I've been informed that uh, several shots fired at her and she was struck several times and has passed away from those wounds. Originally, there were some concerns between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. And, and the time frame when dispatchers were trying to get in contact with her. Have you been able to narrow down the last time anyone had any communication with this officer prior to her death and whether or not she was found in her patrol car or outside? I can't give up that information, um, but our time frame still is around that 3 a.m. to 5 a.m time frame this morning. Did she radio any concerns of a suspect, anything that would <clears throat> alarm her? Was she responding to a call? Nothing at all. A call had been put out by the dispatchers to send her to a call for service and she didn't respond. One of our other officers had talked with her earlier in the evening or seen that vehicle and uh, discovered her. So she, was, so she was found by a fellow officer? Yes. She was in her squad? I can't tell you that. Any so was, the, was, was the officer doing, was he going to check on her specifically? What was the officer? Yes, they were out looking for her because she had not responded to her radio. Are there so, any suspects?